a new power is rising within the United States Navy, one forged from circuits, software, and secrets. Deep inside secure facilities and remote testing grounds, revolutionary technology is taking shape. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a leap that could redefine naval warfare for decades. The details are classified but the mission is clear, keep the US Navy the world's dominant maritime force. Imagine warships cloaked from enemy sensors, drones operating in perfect sync, and weapons moving at unimaginable speeds. The Navy is preparing not just for the next battle but for the next century. Old rivals are stronger, new threats are emerging, and the margin of superiority is shrinking. Standing still means falling behind so the Navy is racing to invent the future before its adversaries do. This is a high-stakes transformation driven by brilliant engineers and bold commanders. Across the country the pieces of this new naval shield are coming together. The journey is complex but the goal is simple. A navy that's smarter, faster, and more powerful than ever. This is the story of America's next generation unstoppable naval shield. The US Navy faces a daunting reality. A shrinking, aging fleet stretched thin across the globe. With just 293 warships, many nearing the end of their service, the Navy is missing key assets. One carrier, 19 attack submarines and dozens of surface combatants. Each missing ship is a gap in capability, a vulnerability adversaries could exploit. The shipbuilding industry, once the envy of the world, now struggles to produce even two combat vessels a year. Delays, cost overruns, and a shrinking industrial base make it nearly impossible to keep pace with demand. The consequences are serious. A smaller, older fleet means less deterrence and less ability to respond to crises. The Heritage Foundation recently rated the Navy as weak, a stark warning for U.S. sea power. Without a strong modern fleet, America's influence wanes and the world grows more dangerous. This crisis has forced the Navy to look to technology as the answer. The hope revolutionary innovation can offset numerical disadvantages and restore mastery of the seas. The stakes couldn't be higher. The Navy's future depends on it. As the U.S. Navy struggles, China's Navy is surging ahead. The People's Liberation Army Navy is expanding at a breathtaking pace, building modern warships designed to challenge American dominance. China's fleet now numbers 395 ships, over 100 more than the U.S., and is projected to reach 435 by 2030. While the U.S. builds fewer than two major ships a year, China launches six. This isn't just about numbers, China is using its navy to assert territorial claims and intimidate neighbors. Recent actions, testing mobile piers, landing forces on disputed islands, signal Beijing's intent to reshape the region. The Pacific, once an American lake, is now contested. The U.S. Navy faces a peer competitor with home field advantage and a massive modern fleet. This new rivalry is driving the urgent push for technological superiority. If the U.S. can't win on numbers, it must win with innovation. The race is on to develop systems that can counter China's growing strength. The outcome will define the balance of power in the Pacific, the stakes control of the world's most vital waterways. The challenge, prevail in any future conflict. The solution, outthink, outpace, and outtech the competition. To meet these challenges, the Navy is turning to innovation and rigorous testing. In the forests and lakes of northern Michigan, far from the ocean, the Navy is pushing new systems to their limits. At Camp Grayling and Alpena, advanced technologies are tested in realistic high-stress scenarios. Exercises like Northern Strike bring together the Navy, Marine Corps, and top research labs to trial everything from drone swarms to electronic warfare tools. The focus integrating groundbreaking systems into real-world tactics before they ever reach a warship. It's not just about proving technology works. It's about learning how to fight with it. These proving grounds are where theory meets reality, and where the Navy hammers out a true war-winning edge. The goal ensure new tech gives sailors an immediate, decisive advantage. Through relentless testing and refinement, the Navy aims to build a technological lead so significant it deters any adversary. In northern Michigan the future of naval warfare is being forged. At the heart of the Navy's leap forward are the Ford-class supercarriers, the largest, most advanced warships ever built. The USS Gerald R. Ford, a 100-000-ton marvel, is packed with revolutionary technology. Its new nuclear reactor generates triple the power of previous carriers, 
fueling next-gen systems. The Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System emails, replaces steam catapults, launching planes faster and with less wear. Advanced Arresting Gear AAG, safely recovers jets boosting reliability and efficiency. The redesigned flight deck allows for rapid refueling and rearming increasing sortie rates. Defensive systems include advanced missiles and phalanx guns, creating a layered shield. With over 4,500 crew and 75-plus aircraft, a single Ford-class carrier projects more power than many nations. The USS Gerald R. Ford is now on patrol, a symbol of American resolve. Despite delays for other ships in the class, the vision is clear. A fleet of technological marvels ready for any threat, anywhere. These carriers are more than ships. They're statements of U.S. sea power. The Ford class is designed to dominate the seas for the next half century. The future of naval warfare sails with them. Many see the Ford class carriers as the ultimate expression of American military might. As the centerpiece of a carrier strike group, they're protected by cruisers, destroyers, submarines, and their own powerful air wing. E-mails and AAG boost air operations, allowing more jets in the sky faster than ever. This overwhelming air power creates a protective bubble, making the carrier a feared weapon system. But it's not just about the ship, it's about the network. Secret technologies from cyber warfare to drone swarms are being integrated to multiply the fleet's power. The result, dominance across sea, air, and the electromagnetic spectrum. A carrier strike group is a mobile airbase, a symbol of American resolve, and a powerful deterrent. For its supporters, the Ford class is not just a warship, it's the queen on the global chessboard. Its presence shapes the entire game. Yet critics warn that the Ford class carriers may be more vulnerable than ever. Each costs over $13 billion, a high-value target that adversaries would love to sink. New tech like emails and AAG, while promising, has faced reliability issues and delays. If these systems fail in combat, a carrier could be left defenseless the biggest threat carrier killer missiles. China and Russia are fielding hypersonic weapons that travel at five times the speed of sound, designed to overwhelm even the best defenses. Recent near misses with less advanced missiles have exposed real risks. If a carrier can't operate safely near enemy shores, its value plummets. Critics argue the Navy is betting too much on a few massive, expensive ships. They suggest the future lies in a larger fleet of smaller, more distributed and unmanned vessels. The debate is urgent. Is the supercarrier an unstoppable titan or an obsolete relic in the age of hypersonic missiles? The answer will shape the Navy's future. The stakes survival in the next great power conflict. The question, adapt or risk irrelevance. Technology alone isn't enough. America needs more ships, fast. Enter the call for a new Naval Act echoing the massive fleet expansion of 1938. The plan? Commit $150 billion to a block buy of destroyers, frigates, submarines, and support vessels. Bulk orders would save money, stabilize shipyards, and rebuild industrial strength. New contracting tools like SAWS would guarantee funding and workforce support. Tax breaks would encourage reinvestment in facilities and training. The urgency is clear. The U.S. can't afford to fall further behind China. A larger, modern fleet would ease strain, boost presence, and deploy unstoppable new tech. This isn't just shipbuilding, it's a national commitment to sea power. The future of American security depends on it. The Navy's future hinges on two things, rebuilding the fleet and revolutionizing technology. Innovation is the key to victory. Advanced tech can multiply the impact of every ship. Imagine unmanned subs mapping the ocean, drone swarms patrolling the skies and AI analyzing threats in real time. These capabilities can offset numerical disadvantages and keep carriers relevant. Directed energy weapons and AI-powered defenses could shield ships from even hypersonic missiles. The carrier becomes a networked mothership, commanding manned and unmanned systems across domains. This integration is the promise of unstoppable naval power. The U.S. Navy's story is one of resilience, ingenuity, and hope. The choices made today will decide who controls the seas tomorrow. The future is unwritten, but technology is the pen.